Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to the uh, Labor Day weekend edition of repairing an old E46 with 223,000 miles. That's right, 223,000. Um, so what you're looking at, I don't know if you can tell, uh, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, by the way, uh, hit me up right here on, on the gram if you're not already. Um, you can probably tell that this car is a ZHP based on this extremely worn Alcantara steering wheel. So this car I just picked up, uh, it's going to replace my X5, which I will be auctioning uh, shortly on Bring a Trailer. So anyway, onto this 330i. This is a ZHP. It's got the automatic transmission. Uh, it's gray. It has the black leather interior. Pretty sweet. Um, I only paid $2,900 for this car. I saw it pop up on eBay in Virginia and made the guy an offer and uh, ended up picking this car up really cheap. So today I'm going to be showing you how to clear and fix the P0444 code that is present on this car, which is a purge valve uh, error or fault code for the uh, gas tank on this car, part of the emissions system. If your E46 or E39 has this code stored, uh, basically you're going to need to get a purge valve. They're about $100. Uh, sometimes you can find them for like $75, $80, maybe like $90. Um, anyway, should be about a hundred bucks or less. And we're going to just replace that on the car, reset the code, and we should be go good to go. So let's get started. Pry up on this tab and disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Here's our purge valve right below the intake manifold. Squeeze this connector to remove the plug. And we'll slide the entire valve with the rubber bracket off of the metal bracket below the intake. Next we'll squeeze the line underneath to disconnect it. Here's the new valve, and of course I will link this up in the description below. So we'll slide our connector back into the main tube here. Reconnect our tube on the bottom. and then slide the metal bracket through the rubber mounting part right here. And finally, we'll plug our electrical harness back in. And finally, we'll reinstall the air box. Reconnect our intake boot. Tighten up the hose clamp. 
replace the intake duct in the front of the car and plug in our mass airflow sensor. And finally, replace the two 10 millimeter airbox bolts. All right, code is clear and we are all set to go. As always guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, I hope that they help you out. If they do, please click the like button, uh, hit me up on Instagram, and uh, see you guys in the next one.